And we got a circle. Okay. I guess and that's Lisa. She moves really slow, so she's not much of a threat. What? I need to get the broken shotgun. It's on a timer. Okay. Wait, there's a door I haven't been through. Let's go around. Where's the door? The right. Okay, I just turned down the exposure on the camera because it was going crazy there. I didn't realise, I'm not sure how long it's been like that for. Guessing that's why I need the crush in the compactor. Wait, is there anything else in this room before I go down? It's red, so... Did I miss an item? That's well hidden. That's pretty good. Now at this point I'm basically drowning in magnum ammo. I think the final boss fight is going to be pretty easy. I'm gonna head back to the to the safe box. I don't think Lisa is gonna give me any trouble. Barry. Saw that coming. Okay, so the crate has arrived at the compactor, so I'm just going to push her in. Alright, what do we get? Is that a rocket launcher? Is that thing going to come back down? Flame for, but it's broken. All right, I'm going to head back to the uh, tunnels with Lisa. God. Ah. Yeah, I just got hit by uh, Lisa because I was being a retard. It's okay. I've lured her away from the. Sh that thing though, the shotgun, whatever it is. Oh, I just went the wrong way. I'm not gonna make it, am I? Nope. Oh no, oh no. Let's wait for it to go back up. Come on. How do I get there? So, okay. Wait. Am 
I not standing in the right place? Oh. Flame for Is this where she's been living? Or a ladder. Do I need a jewel? I don't have one. I see, yeah, the other... I have a lighter. So they tried experimenting on Jessica, it didn't work. This looks like this looks like the other part of the hex um, octagon thing. So I'm gonna have to backtrack to the mansion at some point. Alright, first I'm gonna check what's up the ladder. Can those snakes poison you? Why else would they give us a blue herb? I don't think there's any more spiders. Wait. Oh, we're back here. Okay. This actually explains why Lisa was in the cabin earlier. If her if she lives beneath it. Okay, I just had a quick break and so in the original game, you would go through the cave and the cave would lead you to the fountain, which would lead you to the labs. But in this in this one, you go into the caves and then it just leads you back here. So I'm guessing, but it does give you this second half of the emblem, so I'm guessing if you put these two emblems into the door underneath the stairs, that'll take you to the fountain, and then that'll lead you to the labs. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to head all the way back there. I right, just got back to the door. I gotta say, I do like the design of Lisa. I think what makes her work, what makes her work so well is just how simple the design is. Because uh, I think that's a big problem with a lot of the bosses or monsters in the Resident Evil games. They do just become too complicated for their own goods. Because, uh, for example, you go to Resident Evil 4 and most of the bosses in that game, they all of them are just a blob of tentacles and claws and sharp teeth. So they kind of lose their sense of identity. I think that's a big problem. But at least uh, in this game, it's just basically a girl who's kind of She's got her arms locked. She has that thing over her face. And she's got like this massive thing on the, like hunched over on her back. And uh, I think that one, that's what makes her work so well as a monster. It's just, you gotta keep them simple. If they become over designed, it doesn't work. Although for Resident Evil 4, I guess it makes sense because they're going for, 
action rather than horror in that game, so I don't really blame them for making their bosses so ridiculous and over the top. I think that was a big problem with Nemesis and William, to be honest, in the, in the second and third game. So that they became... They, as the game goes on, they mutate into these weird monstrosities where you can't really tell what you're supposed to be looking at. Like, when it gets to the point where you can't describe what you're looking at, I think that's when the monster fails as a monster. They still have to be simple enough to retain some sort of identity, I think. Otherwise, it loses any fear. You know, I think that's why the giant spiders work so well. It's because that's all they are. They're just giant spiders. It's not as if they added all these sharp, you know, these tentacles and... It's not as if every single leg has raised a sharp claws on the end of them or anything like that. Or anything like that. It's just a giant spider. And it's simple and that's what makes it work. Is this a cutscene? This is completely new. Jill. You're alive. I was worried, because I thought you were... Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. There's Wesker. Don't threatening lie him. to me. It's not Lisa again. What? Wait. I know he's a good guy, Thanks, so... Jill. Oh, I'm in trouble. I only bought my handgun. Barry, save me. Kill him. Shoot. Oh, no. Okay, you can run around. Wait. Do I need to protect Barry? No. I almost feel sorry for it. I guess those chains are connected to the, the lid of the coffin. Oh no, I'll do that one last. She can't jump far, it seems, so... It doesn't stop me from panicking every single time she leaps into the air.
That monster is just sad. Okay, I think we're finally at the fountain. Yeah. I played the first game as a kid, I think this was the only part that I got stuck on. Because the emblems are hidden inside books, you have to examine them and open up the books through the examine option to get the emblems. But I never examined any of the objects as a kid, so... Yeah, I ended up looking up a guide for that. Uh, so this is basically the final stage of the game. Typewriter, can I be bothered to save my game? I don't think so. Oh, well, I don't know, I might as well. Right, I've grabbed the items that I want, I'm gonna head into the labs. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna bother using the lighter and the fuel to burn the bodies. At this point I'm feeling pretty confident. And I brought the ammo disc as well. I can't remember what you need it for. I think you used it on a computer at some point. Ah, oh, there's two of them. They're both the same. Hang on, that says 200. This one is, yeah, they're both the same. On my way. Oh, so many healing items. I can't remember where you turn the power on either. Clark David. To use the electronic door, please, the initials in alphabetical order. The initials and the x-rays? I can't pick the other ones up though. Great. Ada? As in Ada Wong? Okay, so A does the password, and then what's this guy's name? Can be at the end. John. Okay, Ada and John.
Oh my god. I'll come back to this. I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh, too close. I'm having trouble judging the distance he's at. Pretty sure this is the room with the computer. Oh, what's that? What was inside the coffin? Johnny, the. I need an another password though. I think. Yeah. I'll have to go back for that. I. I can unlock those at least. Oh, there's another floor. I'm pretty sure that wasn't in the origi original. Okay. So the other password was something about the initials and the x-rays. I'm gonna read the file again. Still red. What am I missing? Or maybe that just means I can still interact with uh, something which will influence. Oh wait, I see it. Magnum ammo. I'm gonna leave that there actually. And those two doors are locked, so oh great! Can't wait for him to come back. I didn't realize my taser finished him off. Okay, let's figure out where the password is. And actually, the map said that this door was unlocked now. I don't think it was unlocked before. I think me putting in the password unlocked it. I could be wrong. I don't remember trying this door, to be honest. I need that for the... Yeah, there's a projector upstairs. Can you hear the zombie? Awesome. Oh wait, I can't use this? No. Do I need to find another one to use this? Alright, so I need to find another ammo disc and two other password things.
Okay, nothing else in here. Well, there's something behind that door, but I can't grab it yet, it seems. A refueling device. I don't know yet. Ink ribbon as well. So I'm supposed to be, oh, hang on, to use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. You mean of the organs? So what have we got? Looks like the lungs. No, leave it there, leave it there. So C. So C L L. Isn't there one more? C L L. Is that the spine? Ah. C L L E, so C E L L. Cell, okay. Got it. Cell. Oh, that's the password, yeah, of course, for the computer. I'm gonna head back to that room. Oh, yeah, he's a crimson head. That's the projection room, okay. Okay, I guess I'll head back up there and while I'm up there, I might as well go back to the safe room. I've been holding off on that because I just, I'm too lazy to go back up there and dodge the zombies as well. If I'm going to that projection room, I might as well. Where's the Magnum Ammo gone? Okay, I'm gonna head up. I'm probably gonna kill the zombies with a shotgun. Alright, we've got a crimson head right by here. Hopefully I can take him out with a handgun. Nope. Not working out so well. It's already swinging for me. Oh my god. They're so vicious. Please fall to the floor. I'm dead, I'm probably dead. Danger. I'm not sure if the crimson heads come back once you kill them. So you kill a regular zombie, it turns into a crimson head. But I'm not sure if you the crimson heads themselves come back. And get past. No, I don't know. I don't want to risk it. Is there one down here? No. <laughs> Definitely want the first aid spray before I go back up there. Oh, it's who? Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. Oh my 
god, I missed. Another crimson head away, but you know what? I'm gonna burn these bodies. I'm gonna take them out with the handgun, come back with the lighter. Oh! You can take the heads off with that. Then oh, this guy isn't even dead. I didn't realize the handgun could take off the heads. Oh, there's just no one else. All right. All right first aid spray, key card. Oh, nice, another one. So I just need to find the devices which give me the password. I better write that down. Okay, I just wrote that down. Now can I put in this new slide? Oh. Just wrote that one down as well. And Wesker says Wesker right there. that door? One open. Eight four six two. Oh great, okay. I'm gonna go to the safe room. Okay, I just made a trip to the safe room. This is my inventory now. I'm gonna pick up the key and find the door to unlock. I'm gonna head back down. Okay, it seems that the crimson heads don't come back if you kill them. That actually makes the game a lot easier than I thought it was. I thought they'd come back. Guess I was wrong. Nice. 